Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here for another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to resolve if you're having a Windows installer package problem on your Windows 11 computer. This tutorial will apply for Windows 7, Windows 8, and Windows 10 devices as well. So if you're coming across an issue where you're unable to install programs and applications, this should hopefully be a pretty straightforward process, guys. And without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into it. So we're going to start off by opening up the Start menu. And you want to type in regedit, so R-E-G-E-D-I-T. Best result should come back a registry editor. Go ahead and right click on that and select run as administrator. If you receive the user account control prompt, go ahead and select yes. And before you proceed in the registry, I would suggest you create a backup of it. So if anything were to go wrong, you could easily restore it back. In order to create the backup, it's very simple. All you have to do is select file and then export. File name, I recommend naming it the date in which you're making the backup. Set export range to all and save it to a convenient and easily accessible location on your computer. And if you need to import it back in, all you would do is select file and then import and then navigate to the file location. So again, pretty straightforward. And now we're ready to begin. So we're going to start by double clicking on the H key classes root folder. Do the same thing now for the msi.package folder. You may just want to click on one of these random folders in here and just start typing it in. So msi, just stop after you type msi dot, and then it's because it's an uppercase P for package. So just type msi dot, and then it should take you right to the folder. Again, this is while you're left clicking on one of the folders in this list here. It should take you to the shortcut just to get you right here. And now you want to double click on the msi package folder. It should be a shell folder, double click on that. And now you want to right click on the shell folder, select new, and then select key. Name this key run as, again R-U-N-A-S. Hit enter on your keyboard. Now on the right side you want to double click on the default value, the string value. And you want to name this value install space as, and then the and sign. So if you hold on the shift and the seven key on your keyboard at the same time you get that little and sign. So again shift and seven will get you this little character up here and then type administrator exactly how you see it on my screen here so again install as administrator with a little and sign before the administrator select OK and once you've done that you want to go now right click on the run as folder now you're going to right click on the run as folder select new and then select key you want to name this key command so c-o-m-m-a-n-d hit enter and now on the right side we want to right click on the default value and select modify and now I'm going to have a value data in the description of the video here guys I want you guys to copy and paste or you can type it in if you want it's probably better to just copy and paste it in it's MSI EXEC space forward slash lowercase i quotation marks percent sign one quotation sign select OK and once you know with that you can close out of here and I would suggest you guys reset your system in order for this to take effect Let's go ahead and close out of here and restart our device. So there you go guys, hopefully that was able to resolve your problem. And as always, thank you for watching this brief tutorial. I do I was able to help you out, and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.